Hi, it's Kerry from Super Fun Reviews. Today I have some amazing marine reptiles for my aquarium. Can you tell me who was the greatest enemy of Pliosaurus? Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like marine reptiles. Coelacanth is an elusive deep sea creature living in depths up to 2,300 feet or 700 meters. Its backbone is made of cartilage, yet it has a bony head, teeth and thick scales. Its four muscular limb-like fins under its body can be used like legs to support itself. There are still two known species alive today. Chronosaurus was a short-necked pliosaur growing up to 30 feet or 9 meters long. They lived in the ocean and surfaced to breathe air. Their strong teeth and jaws could crush shells and tear through squid and octopus. It swam with its flippers, much like a turtle. Look at all those teeth. Stay for the battle at the end between a Mosasaurus and Pliosaurus. Pliosaurus was a carnivorous marine reptile. Mosasaurus was their greatest enemy. They breathed air through their nostrils on the upper front of their head by surfacing. It had quite a soft hide. I would really appreciate any help you can give in translating my videos. Thank you. Mosasaurus could grow to 60 feet or 16 meters long. The long head had pointed, powerful 4.7 foot or 1.4 meter jaws and many sharp teeth with two extra rows of teeth. It had a loosely hinged lower jaw that allowed it to swallow prey whole. Its sharp backward pointing teeth on the roof of its mouth helped force prey down its throat. Mosasaurus hunted and ate fish, sharks, turtles, mollusks and shellfish. Dunkleosteus was a heavy armoured fish. It could grow to 11 and a half feet or 4 metres in length and had large scissor-like cutting jaws with serrated razor sharp bones but no teeth. Its skull was over 2 feet or 60 centimetres long and it had a jointed neck, an eel-like tail, no scales but a type of armour made of hinged body shields. Dunkel Osteus may have been the world's first apex predator. The force of its bite was remarkably powerful, 11,000 pounds. The bladed dentition of this 400 million year old extinct fish focused the bite force into a small area. The fang tip at an incredible force of 80,000 pounds per square inch. Uncle Osteus was probably a relatively slow but powerful swimmer. Tylosaurus was a mosasaur and ate fish and other swimming animals using its powerful streamlined body and four paddle-like limbs. The large head had many teeth which were used for hunting fish, turtles and shellfish. Tylosaurus was not a fast swimmer so it would stalk its prey and then use a sudden burst of speed to catch and kill the prey. It grew to 46 feet or 14 meters. Lyopluridon was a powerful swimmer and propelled itself with four large paddle shaped limbs, the rear two being larger. Lyopluridon had a four foot or 1.2 meter long skull and long jaws with rows of deadly needle-sharp teeth 
which could reach 2.75 inches or 7 centimeters in length. These were arranged in a distinctive rosette at the end of its snout. Ichthyosaurus was a strong swimmer and surfaced to breathe air through nostrils near the top of the snout. They had sharp teeth in strong jaws and big eyes. They had four crescent shaped fins and a dorsal fin and a fish like tail. It ate fish, octopus and other sea animals. They could support themselves in the water on their fins. Temnodontosaurus, it's actually giving birth here. It was an ichthyosaur. It would hunt other marine reptiles in the shallow seas. It had massive eyes growing up to 10 inches across, which is 25 centimeters. It could grow to 40 feet or 12 meters long. It had a long snout. Elasmosaurus. It was the long neck of Elasmosaurus that was the key to its feeding method. All Elasmosaurus would do was swim up to a shoal of fish, possibly from below so that it could hide its body in the slightly darker water and use its neck to dart its head in and pluck out a mouthful of fish. Elasmosaurus was a slow swimmer using its flippers like a turtle and also coming to surface to breathe air like a turtle. It ate fish and other swimming animals and had a very long neck with four paddle shaped flippers, a tiny head with sharp teeth and strong jaws and a pointed tail. It could grow to 46 feet although half of that was neck. To receive all notifications from Super Fun Reviews, first of all subscribe and then click on the bell icon and click on the words turn on or on a PC, tick the box and save. Thank you. Remember to tell me who was the greatest enemy of Pliosaurus. For watching my video please stay right on here at super fun reviews for more great videos see you again soon 
please subscribe and share my videos on any of the social media platforms that you like to visit. Thanks once again.